it's a special program very close to my heart that uh, deals with working with academic institutions in Kenya and other parts of the region yeah. to build the future ICT talent. Uh, I started it uh, in 2019. Oh, great. That's when we started in Kenya officially. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been running till then. We've had over 10,000 students go through this uh, particular program. This year I've, I've seen a lot of uh, students enrolling in the competition and uh, the amount of uh, talent that we have out here yeah. is very, uh, <laughs> it's very, it's very tough. Hello and welcome to Globe Traction. My name is Pasil Selewa and today on the show it's all about technology. While I sit down with Michael Kamau, the ICT Academy Manager of Huawei Technologies based in Nairobi, Kenya. We don't just speak about the ICT global competition happening right now, the 2023-2024, but we also speak about the opportunities in technological industry that have been able to impact lives across the world. I also have a sit down, or rather a walk around, with one of the top students, the winning candidate of the ICT Global Academy, based in Nairobi, Kenya, by the name Louis. So I hope you get a little bit of inspiration from this story. Nice finally sitting down with you, Michael. Good to see you too and meet you, Pasil. And thanks for making the time. I know how busy you are. You're most welcome. Thank I'm glad you. to be here, yes. You know why I'm here today? I but think I have an idea. <laughs> you have an idea? <laughs> yes, yes. I like that. You're yeah. doing amazing stuff. And thank you. And I understand you're the lead person with Huawei. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. yes. What is your role? P tell me, please. So my name is Michael Kamau. Yeah. I work at Huawei Kenya office. And I'm responsible for a program we call Huawei ICT Academy. Uh, it's a special program, very close to my heart, that yeah. uh, deals with working with academic institutions in Kenya and other parts of the region yeah. to build the future ICT talent for the robust ICT uh, industry. Yeah. Mm. So when you talk about you're in charge of this particular project, it, I understand it's been running for quite a while. Mm. When did you start the project? Uh, I started it uh, in 2019. Oh, great. That's when we started in Kenya officially. Yeah. yeah. So we've been running till then. We've had over 10,000 students go through this uh, particular program. Since inception? Yes, since inception. Yeah. So it uh, has, has had a great success here in Kenya and even beyond because, as you know, Huawei is in different parts of the world, uh, even in Africa and yeah. the region. Yeah. So in Kenya, we've done particularly well. And uh, I'm very proud to say that we have uh, supported young minds, brilliant minds at uh, university level to uh, have a better future in the ICT industry. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. am I pronouncing it right when I say Huawei? How do you pronounce it? Huawei. I, it, also had, uh, it, also, it was also a challenge for me when I joined. Huawei. Yeah. Huawei. 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 Huawei yes. So I understand Huawei is in a number of countries, mm -hmm. you know, uh, besides Kenya, mm -hmm. you know. How many countries so far right now? Uh, so Huawei is in 170 countries. 170 and we serve over a third of the world population. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So tell me a little bit more about, you know, that particular project, the yeah. ICT Huawei project that you're in charge. How does somebody apply? How do you roll out, you know, uh, advertisements or how does the whole process go? All right. So maybe I will start by saying Huawei is a leading global provider of ICT solutions and smart devices. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Huawei has over, over 207,000 employees across the world in 170 countries. So in Kenya, you will find that uh, in, most people have interacted with Huawei, either yeah. from our consumer business, but we also have our carrier business, our enterprise business, and cloud business. People know mostly about people the know, phones. People know mostly with, uh, about the, the phones. The gadgets, yes. yeah. But tell me, what else? So uh, we work uh, with uh, local mobile service providers and help uh, them uh, develop their, uh, their networks, yeah. like for example, the 4G. Uh, the 3G and similar kind of networks yeah. in the country. Yeah. So we help advance in this area. We are strategic partner for these uh, local companies and also in the region. Uh, for our enterprise business, we deal with, uh, we help, we deal in the sectors of smart government. Uh, we have a smart industry, finance, that is our banks. So we help digitize uh, normal services. We provide data centers, uh, this kind of cloud so, uh, solutions yeah. that are helping organizations become more effective 
and we provide value to our customers. So this is essentially our value proposition is on ICT infrastructure, uh, cloud and uh, basic software and such kind of platforms. I understand Huawei is in a hundred plus countries, you know, ac across the globe. However, I would like to, to know, particularly for this project, you know, what is it that you're focusing on and how did you, you know, uh, put out your advertisements? How did people even, you know, bring in their interest to participate? So mm -hmm. fill me in, please. Uh, yes, so apart from Huawei uh, leading in ICT infrastructure and cloud, so our uh, activities center around uh, working with institutions of higher education and uh, for the cutting edge te ICT technologies. Yeah. So we want to have a knowledge transfer uh, system or platform and this is uh, what we are calling ICT Academy. Yeah. So we have partnered with uh, institutions of higher learning here in Kenya, about 50 or so, uh, including top universities, colleges and even TVETs. Yes. Uh, and we are working to empower the teachers and to provide a very comprehensive certification, ICT certification, that really empowers the learner to understand the ICT industry, to know what I need to know when I'm graduating and when I'm going to the ICT industry, to get uh, a better opportunity to, for work and to uh, develop themselves technology, even for better uh, advancements for uh, the individual and also for the nation. Now that you spoke about uh, certification, do you work hand in hand with the Ministry of Education in this sense? Uh, it's a good question. So, yes. actually, Ministry of Education uh, recognizes the program. They are aware of this project. Yeah. And actually, uh, they are very uh, appreciative of the program that we have here in Kenya. Uh, and uh, uh, we work closely with the State Department of Higher Education. And uh, for this program specifically, we have seen the Ministry commend uh, the students, the yes. university students who are graduating from such kind of programs and even go ahead and uh, recommend more institutions to work with ICT industry partners, not only Huawei, but also those in the ICT field. Great. Yes. So how has been the reception on the ground? So I will start globally. We have had the highest number of participants, that is 150,000 students, students. join the program, yes. uh, particularly this ICT competition. In Kenya, last year, we had 6,000 students join the national uh, level of this competition. So I think uh, there is a lot of interest because, as you know, we are in the digital economy. So yes. everyone, every student is keen on uh, finding his or her place in this uh, 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 information age. Yes. So it's very attractive to students and uh, I think it offers a lot of benefits to the individual. I understand you have lots of community you know, services offering the CSR, as they are commonly known. So tell me about the CSR that Huawei is up to and what activities you know, are going on as we speak. So this is a very, very important uh, uh, part of Huawei. We not only do business in the countries we work in, but we also focus on uh, providing value to local citizens and local youth yeah. uh, in specific in all the countries that we are in. Mm -hmm. So it stems all the way from the top. We have uh, strategic initiatives called under Tech for All. So we want to enable all, every individual uh, to access technology yeah. as much as we can. So we have those at cutting edge level of ICT technologies all the way to basic level. Yeah. Mm. So at the basic level, we have initiatives such as uh, Digitrack, which is a classroom on wheels. And we partner with uh, Safaricom, GSMA and Computer Schools for Kenya. And we provide uh, basic digital skills to uh, underprivileged uh, communities. We have been in, I think, 13 or 14 counties across the uh, since country we the yes, since we started the program. Yeah. And every county we are there for a month and we help uh, under those who are not able to access this kind of knowledge, ICT knowledge, uh, go through the learning program and yeah. graduate yeah. Uh, and become better than they were. So this is the uh, forefront at the basic level. Yes. At the advanced level, we want to work with institutions of higher learning. You want to work. Is yes. that a plan or is it already underway? Uh, so the objective is uh, at the end is to work with these institutions very closely yeah. so that we can have a knowledge transfer program. So we look at the technologies that are going to uh, influence the digital economy. Mm -hmm. We talk about cloud, we talk about AI, uh, big data. We also have uh, the infrastructure uh, technology such as networking, uh, which is called data communications, yes. uh, security, cyber security, and wireless networks. So we work with the institutions. Yeah. We have, uh, in Kenya, we have worked with, we have par we've partnered with 50 schools, 50, 50 universities. Is a number. Yeah. There's 50 universities, yeah. including uh, national polytechnics, that is the TVETs. And uh, this program is a, a way, is a bridge for the academia to work 
closely with the to ICT get industry. Skills. Yes, to yeah. get skills. So basically, it's something we'd call preparation for the job market. Yes, yes. Ah, great. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, conversation that goes on globally about women and tech. You know, it's been women and tech, women and engineering, women and mathematics called STEM, you know. And I would like to know what Huawei is doing. Is there any room for a woman in Huawei, for instance? Uh, it's a very good question. So you find that Huawei uh, deals with telecommunications and engineering. Yes. So what is the role of women in such? So we've had very successful women in the company itself who have grown to the ranks of uh, senior engineers and directors. And they started as engineers going on site, yeah. working for customers. So this is a message we want to put across even to young aspiring women who want to join the ICT industry that we have these successful cases. And you'll find that in each of our programs, we roll out what we call women in tech. Women right. in tech Huawei. Yeah. So we are working with our partners to encourage more young ladies to take up these uh, opportunities that we are providing. A very good success case is uh, in this global ICT competition. Yeah. We have a team of 18 students, and this year we had uh, five uh, of them being ladies, which are very out uh, of 18. Out five of 18. Are women. Yeah. Yes, it may sound small, but trust me, it's, I know. It's, it's I'm, I'm very, about very to pinch mm. you right now and tell you, you're not, you're not telling me seriously. Out of eighteen, mm. only five are women. But from your previous year experience, mm. has this improved? Definitely. So last year we only took two to the global final, okay. and uh, this year we have five. So I think, uh, Percy, we're on the right track. You are uh, on in, the right In terms track. of at attracting uh, young. Uh, females or ladies to join this com globally com globally competitive ICT competition. Yeah. yeah. So you find the data is that most young ladies don't want to join this sector or this field, but we are here as Huawei saying that the uh, opportunity is here. Please join. We even have a particular way of awarding uh, the ladies who reach this uh, highest level. We have a Women in Tech uh, award for those ladies who have actively joined each stage of the competition. Oh, great. So we want to encourage as many as can, as yeah. many as uh, who are able, yes, to, yeah. to join the competition. Yeah, you're pretty young, Michael, mm -hmm. yourself, only 28, and uh, there's a lot of, you know, uh, things to look forward to the future. Mm -hmm. I would like to know, is this your first job straight from the university, and how did you transition? It's a, it's a very important question about employment. Yeah. So my background is uh, computer science, Yes. and I'm still a student, I'm doing my MBA. Great, uh, congratulations. That's thank good you. to hear. Thank you. Yeah. So while at university, I think I was, I would call it lucky or very, uh, I was able to, uh, while still at university, I was leading uh, my, our local science innovators club yes. or society. Yes. So through these activities, I was able to engage with a lot of the ICT industry. And this gave me a, an, an added advantage at that time. That was back in 2018. I was able to uh, transition uh, through an internship, through a normal internship program offered by the organization. Yes. And I was able to stand out and, uh, and I was able to join this uh, organization fully as an employee. Great. So I think the interaction with where you want, the industry you want to be in is very, very important yes. while still at school. Yeah. We should not wait for the final day to then for you ask to start where the looking. jobs. Yes. Yeah. Great. What would you tell somebody who is within the same sphere as you? Because as you understand right now in Kenya specifically, we're speaking mm. about lots of youth and unemployment, and we're speaking about also misplacements of, you know, having studied a different course and now in the job market dealing with a different kind of job. What do you have to say about that? All right, so I think it's a very important question. I think there are uh, lots of young people who do not have, who have not found opportunities in the ICT or in the industry, uh, even after graduating. Yeah. So for particularly, you'll find that uh, I, my advice is that you engage with the industry you want to be in as early and uh, as soon as you can while still in university or in college or even in TVET because you find that uh, there are lots of opportunities globally, might yeah. not be locally in the country. You we cannot ignore the uh, digital economy, the information age that we are in. So there are opportunities, not necessarily locally, but if you are able to access the internet, you may find that there are lots of opportunities in different countries to work remotely or to work with uh, uh, providers, uh, global companies that are offering student programs. So join, enroll, and then uh, do your best to improve yourself, and you find that there, will be, there must be an opportunity for you. Yep. So you find that, for example, as Huawei, yes. we provide opportunities for youth, and you find that 18 of those who are going to the global final will, uh, at the end, secure an opportunity. 
to work either at the organization or even at our partners. Oh, so I you see. can imagine if there are 10 or 20 similar organizations, you can find the uptake will be there. Yeah. And more and more, not even that is only in ICT. And then so we're going to bring down unemployment. That is a really good thing. Yes. So you seem like a really focused young man. And I would like to know more about you from mm. a personal perspective. Yeah. Who is Michael mm. Kamau? So, uh, Michael, I'm 28 years old. Yes. Um, uh, I'm engaged, soon to be married. Congratulations. Thank you very yeah. much. And uh, as I said, my education background is computer science and uh, MBA. I like uh, playing chess. I like going out. I like uh, having fun with my friends, having fun at church, leading in church. So uh, these are the areas I, I, uh, you'll find me if I'm not in the office. Spending your time with. Yes. M many the family of God. Yeah. yeah. Many thanks for your time, Michael. I would love to have a little bit of, you know, a sit down or a conversation with one of the winners because I reckon the ICT competition had winners. And you have this winner that is set to travel to China. Yes. Yeah. From where you sit at. Not to, you know, to be biased. But what is it that you think, you know, they had that the rest of the team did not have mm. yeah uh so first the ict competition is very competitive yes uh but as huawei we have provided free learning tools learning resources for every student who joins so for everyone who wants to participate we have a very good learning opportunity equal equally provided to every uh, participant every student yeah uh, for this student uh, from my own understand uh, from my own uh, view those yes. who are in uh, stem courses tend to do a little bit well but this time I think we had someone who is in a different kind of science what uh, science uh, health science are you serious yeah. great so it so I can't limit it to those who are in stem only yes so those even uh, it's open for any student if you are in, even in business you can participate challenge yourself the whole theme of the com com competition is connection glory and future we connect students to the ict industry uh, we help uh, we identify the top students that they get some glory some award and then their future changes we aim to change their future and by changing their future we believe that we can change their society and even the uh, the surrounding community many thanks for your time thank you I very hope much to see you again soon yeah, yeah and so keep too. doing the amazing job thank you very all much all right What's up, Luis? Hi, hi. Good afternoon. Hi, good good afternoon. Nice meeting you. You too. Pleasure. Yeah. It's a pleasure. I've heard about what you've done. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very but much. more specifically about what you've been able to achieve. So congratulations on that. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. How do you feel being the sole person going to China, getting this opportunity to represent country Kenya? Uh, well, uh, I'm happy. And at the same time, it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually anxious because uh, it's like a huge responsibility to me, you know, Yeah. representing Kenya. and. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll do my best in this upcoming competition, but yes. generally I'm very happy and very glad to be going to China. Is this something you looked forward to, to be honest? Yes, all you my did. campus life. Yeah, 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 I, so it's a dream come true yeah, for you? definitely, yes. Great. So how was the competition? The competition in itself was very stiff. Uh, I, as, uh, I did it previously. It was not as stiff as this. Yes. Oh, so, you had attempted? Yes. Yeah. Uh, in 2021. I had done this in 2021, but I managed to reach the regional finals. Yeah. Uh, but at that time, uh, it wasn't this stiff. It wasn't this tough. So this year, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, students enrolling in the competition and uh, the amount of uh, talent that we have out here yes. is very... Um, <laughs> it's very it's very tough it's very tough it's quite here. competitive yeah. Yeah. i've heard about kenyan students even while abroad yeah they are really competitive yeah. and it's a nice thing that you said it was tough this year what is it that you are hoping to achieve when you head there uh i hope to get the grand prize that is what you're aiming at. that's what i'm aiming at yeah. it's what i've been dreaming of. what does I'm the like... grand prize come with uh obviously a job <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the, that's yeah, the that is the vibe, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I want to work in Huawei, so I will put all my effort in this uh, stage. Yeah. Uh, many students have tried, and uh, the team that I have, I'm confident that we can get this, we can do this. Yeah, so tell me how do you work? Because when you speak about a team, I don't understand. Do you get to select a team, or how is that so? Okay, um, the team selection is based on merit, mm -hmm. uh, according to how the um, 
national final results were. Okay, yeah. so the first uh, team comprises of the top three. Yeah. Then team two comprises of from from number three to six, or uh, from number four to six, mm -hmm. and from number uh, seven to nine com yeah. is team three. Great. Yeah. So you are in team one. Yes, I was in team one. Are you in a specific, you know, focusing on a specific project like you're doing networking, you're doing iCloud, or you're doing, you know, uh, uh, artificial intelligence? Yeah. Is there any particular area you're focusing on, or is just general? Okay. Um. Personally, I'm in the network track, yeah. so I get to focus more on uh, network security, data communications, and the, the wireless technology that uh, Huawei gets to offer. Mm -hmm. So I'm more into switching and routing, as switching and routing, as, yeah. as you call it, as yes. uh, yeah. yeah. So and also the firewalls. The I get firewalls. to yes, I get yeah. to deal with network security. Sp speaking of uh, wireless and routing, like you put it from a layman's perspective. What solutions are you bringing to the problems that we are facing within the community and the society? Okay, first things first, uh, yeah. we aim to introduce a faster connectivity, uh, uh, fast and reliable connectivity yeah, to people in uh, Kenya and also to the world. Yeah. So we internet get, connectivity. Yes, in, internet connectivity. Yeah, yeah. things like uh, how the fiber to the home, you know, yeah. uh, the home fiber, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's basically part of network infrastructure mm -hmm. and data com. And also, you know, that uh, the network data cannot flow through uh, without any form of security. So that we also bring in the security aspect of data communications into play. Let me understand how you bring in the security aspect. Because the internet, the world that we are in today, people are concerned about their safety yes. with data what we call data security and yes. all of that, because all over we go, just case in point, yes. if I were to access this building in Kenya right now, yes. I'm sure the security guard right at the entrance gonna need my, you know, my name, you know, my address, and you know, my phone number and stuff like that. Yes. So is that something that you're working within? And uh, how can you ensure a safe, secure community? Okay, um, uh, regarding to data security, yes. uh, we tend to deal with uh, more of firewalls. Uh, the firewall basically tends to filter out data that you want uh, to go towards the internet and also the uh, private data to remain within the entire building. So yes. you don't want your data leaking, your private data leaking to uh, malicious hackers and uh, intruders outside the uh, network, outside the um, the building or the facility that yeah. you are you're yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. So. We tend to filter out data f through from the basic level up to the advanced level. Uh, the basic level is through the switches. Uh, you can also re restrict who gets into your network and who is uh, allowed to use the network at what time and uh, what they get to access during work hours. You can also yes, you can also tweak the network here and there to yeah. filter and to suit your needs. And you are speaking to me about being so excited about getting the opportunity to represent the country yeah. uh, abroad yes. while you go on this competition. Tell me, what is it that you've had to do to prepare yourself, to look forward to that magnificent moment for yourself? I had to teach myself a little bit of Mandarin. <laughs> so, oh, so you can speak a little bit. Oh, Nihau. Yeah. Uh, nihau ma. Oh, you can speak a little yeah. bit of that. Yeah. Great. What else have you had to do? Um, we've been uh, having boot camp for at least four to five months. So intense training oh, where we get okay. to interact with the Huawei engineers and also our certified instructors come and uh, guide us through what we uh, are supposed to, you know, to know and what to expect in the upcoming global finals in China. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I believe those four months, uh, those five months that we've been here uh, will not be put to, it will now be put to use and will bring back uh, the glory to Kenya. As we wind this up, yes. what is it that you look forward to technology solving from your perspective, from where you sit? What do you hope that technology can be able to help us achieve? High level of automation. As you know, we have uh, infrastructure and uh, companies like Tesla. Uh, uh, also, we have like uh, 6G that uh, has been rolled out. Seven, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be even we'll be hearing of 12G yeah. sometime to come. So yeah. uh, there's that level of transition. You know, new, learning newer technologies, getting to know the research, the research and design of uh, these newer technologies. What 
what constitutes these newer technologies and uh, the risk that we have to mitigate as we continue being uh, more and more technologically advanced. Yeah. I, I know you're the worst person <laughs> to show happiness, but I hope you can show some happiness when I give you a gift from our office. Oh, and thank I you hope very it much. Fits. Oh. Yeah, let me know. Let me see if it fits, Luis. Okay. Um, okay. Can yeah. I try it on? Yes, please. It's yours. Oh, thank you. So you're going to get pl plenty of gifts, right? Thanks. <laughs> Just be a little bit. Yes. There you go. So cold nights <laughs> sorted, right? Yeah, cold definitely. Evenings. Yeah, great. Starting now. So while you're on your computer and stuff, yes. doing whatever you do, yes. make sure you're keeping warm. Thank you very yeah. much. I so, highly appreciate it. Anytime. Yeah. And thanks so much, Luis, for your time. Yeah. All the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. And even on your trip. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you soon uh, when we come back with the grand prize. With the grand prize. Yes. I hope you win. You're not going there to fail. Yeah. Am I sounding like your mama right yeah. now? <laughs> Words of encouragement. Right? That's yeah, something I need. I mean, we are very, you know, smart people. Yeah. So we are hoping that you can represent us yes. very well. I will. And come back home with a prize. Thank you. I'm glad to hear about Michael's inclusion on the women in ICT. And I hope you learned something from the show today. Many thanks for watching. If you have a story you'd like to share with us, please don't hesitate. Write to us through Globetraction at standardmedia.co.ke or DM us on our social media platforms at Globetraction or at KTN News KE. You can also tap that follow button to me on my social media platforms at Pasil Telewa on Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, and YouTube for more of behind the scenes and many other amazing stories. But until then, I hope to see you again same time, same place. Bye-bye for now.